Revenue management in food and beverage. Are we doing it? Should we be doing it? And how do we do it? Here to tell us more is Alessio Di Gattano from Dynamy. Hi, Alessio, how are you? Hi, Jason. I'm good. How are you? Good? Fantastic. Yeah, yeah. Lovely. Great. Uh, lovely to have you on the show. And I appreciate your time because I know you're a very busy, busy man. So let's dive straight in. I've been so looking forward to this show. Um, but firstly, tell us about you. Go back uh, in your career and tell us a little bit about how you got to where you are at the minute. Yeah, first of all, thank you so much, uh, Jason, to, to have me here. Uh, it's, uh, for me, it's, uh, it's uh, a pleasure to, to a little bit to share my experience and also uh, what we do uh, in Dynamics. So, um, I, I mean, uh, as you said, uh, I'm Alessio Di Gaetano. I'm, uh, I'm the Chief Revenue Officer and the co-founder of, uh, of Dynamic. Um, all my all my uh, experience is related to tourism. I start working in uh, in the hotels uh, and the hospitality in the hotels uh, uh, mainly uh, more than uh, fifteen years ago. Uh, I went through different position, mainly uh, mainly uh, operations. So I've been in a reception. Uh, reservation and so on and then uh in 2000 uh, i think it was 2011 yes i'm i uh basically um uh, attended the master here in spain um, um it was related to revenue management and uh, it's uh, for me on um, from that time uh be start a new a new love or uh <laughs> what i what i used to call no uh, so i started my love for revenue management for this discipline um from that point i started to work on on, on the revenue management department before on in melia uh hotels international and then uh with within an h hotel group uh, where i've been uh through different positions from cluster to uh, property revenue manager till uh, global uh, senior position, no. Uh, so, give him that uh, you know that uh, full overview uh, of the revenue of the revenue management and all the uh, possibility that you have. Uh, and exactly when I basically start uh, on the revenue on the revenue uh, management and the global on a global standpoint, uh, you know you start also to 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 work on project. No, it's more. It's not like revenue revenue. It's more related to to project so you you are taking care of specific specific things so one of my projects was uh, to develop let's say the the strategy for the total revenue uh, for the total revenue management it's something that we we are we hear from from years no since years i we hear about total revenue um and from that uh, i started to think uh, i think it was 2017 how uh, it was possible also to do uh, revenue management for restaurant, uh, and that is where uh, started the idea of of Dynamite. Uh, so it was it was uh, I would say uh, due to my background and due to my uh, um, restless uh, need to do things and to to apply revenue to other to other to other things uh, that I land I land basically to 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 Dynamite. And uh, yeah, and today, as I said, I'm uh, the, the responsible of sales and marketing uh, for, for Dynamic, uh, which is basically a platform that um, helps restaurant and hotels restaurant to optimize uh, their F&B operation. Uh, we do that uh, through one of the main concept of revenue, uh, that is the dynamic pricing. And then there is another lever uh, that we call, uh, let's say we call smart menu. Uh, and yeah, so happy, happy of our journey uh, so far. And this is a little bit a resume uh, of uh, of myself and my experience. Fantastic, brilliant. Tell us a little bit more about Dynamic. Then, in terms of operationally, how does it work? Yeah, I mean, um, Dynamic. It's important also to understand when we start uh, because we start in twenty twenty, uh, just. Uh, Two weeks before COVID, uh, so you can imagine. Look. <laughs> so you can imagine uh, starting a startup uh, for food for restaurant and and hotels in just two weeks before COVID. Uh, 
it was it was difficult but we survived and uh, and i think one of the main uh, it was for us an opportunity uh, the covid to be honest uh, i'm not saying that i uh, i would i would have the covid of course uh, mm-hmm. i prefer not but i have to be honest and say that the covid uh, for us, it was good because uh, you know the QR code, the digital menu, and these things had been uh, mm. completely changed after the COVID. No, so dynamic basically uh, is is for those that uh, know revenue management. is like a revenue management system uh, that we have since forty years, 30, 20, more than more than twenty years already in the in the industry. That helps you to optimize uh, the pricing, no, of your of your rooms, no. Uh, Dynamic is a sort of uh, revenue management system, but only focus on on the FMB, so only on the restaurant. Operational basically work. We uh, we have um, a two way integration with the with the POS, uh, so now with the PMS with the POS of the restaurant. That is the point uh, of sales of the system they used to to manage. And and from one way, basically, we collect historic data. Uh, once we process those historic data, of course, we don't we don't process is the the machine, the algorithm that is process the the data is um, basically uh, giving back uh, recommendation. Those recommendations are both in terms of pricing, uh, and uh, and those recommendations in terms of pricing are directly pushed uh, to the POS. Okay, so there is no manual work so that is the the, the second uh, way integration with the pos so there is that is the group the, the the real the real step you know we con- we 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 analyze the historic data and then we uh, the um, give back recommendation terms of pricing and then there is another another lever that we uh, we call smart menu uh, so basically our menus are uh, smart so our digital menu that are able to add, uh, like an e-commerce to adapt based on on, on different parameters to adapt uh, to the uh, to the demand uh, to the margin to the prep time and so on so basically we change order of the of the dishes we exclude a certain amount of the dishes in a specific moment um, we can push a specific dish so they are uh, it's like booking.com or amazon no it's depending uh, when you enter the menu, you have a different menu configuration. The, so the combination of the two things, uh, the pricing plus the, the smart menu configuration, uh, gives you uh, on average a 15% in, in, in profitability increase. So uh, wow. we always talk about profitability. Uh, this is for us uh, is a key point. Uh, but is is this is the this is the a little bit the the, the how how operationally work uh, works dynamic. Okay, so what factors are taken into account when a price varies then by the technology? So I mean, uh, when we start dynamic, we we thought to like uh, do what we do in the rooms. So only demand, no the demand. When I have a high demand, mm. I increase my price. When I have low demand. Uh, I decrease my price. We never decrease price, uh, by by the way, uh, because uh, if you don't if you don't tell people that you are decreasing pricing, you are just dilute your revenue, and doesn't make sense. Okay, so that mm-hmm. is a, a, an important an important point. What what we do, what we take into account with with dynamic is not only the the, the demand itself, but there are other parameters. So uh, we we consider, for example. Uh, the contribution, the contribution margin of the different dishes. So we need to have the food cost uh, for 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 each for each item. Uh, we analyze, for example, the popularity of the different dishes uh, because it's not the same. Um, even though maybe your more profitable food is the chips, uh, but of course you cannot sell only chips. You might sell also octopus or wherever or meat. Uh, of course, you have a different popularity. Um, then you need to consider also uh, the prep time. So how how long does it take uh, to prepare um, those dishes? Uh, then we consider the forecast itself. So there are different variables uh, within within the menu, and then there is a component that is extremely high, extremely important. That is the cannibalization. So at the end, when you 
when you increase or decrease a price, uh, we are talking about uh, food, huh? but we do the same also for drinks, but just to, because the food is a little bit more, let's say complicated. Um, mm -hmm. So there is a lot of cannibalization. So the, the meaning is whenever you change a price of a dish, at the end, what you are doing is you are either uh, push the more consume or, or less consume of that specific dish. That increase of one dish, of course, uh, is directly uh, decrease another dishes. That is the, the the things because at the end you have you have a stomach capacity. No, you have uh, you cannot mm. eat uh, free hamburger. I mean, of course you can, but then you, <laughs> it will be a bit difficult. But the reality is that you need to be extremely careful when you whenever whenever you change price or whenever you do things. Because uh, that cannibalization component is extremely important, but it's also the the success. Because at the end, for us, is uh, you can increase, for example, the pricing of the hamburger, not because you want to sell the hamburger to a higher price, but maybe because you want to push the selling of the steak that has a higher margin. So yeah. that is how the machine is thinking, and the product mix uh, we we try to optimize. So that is the the point. It's not just to selling. Uh, Higher, we always say, is to selling better. So optimize your product mix. So typically, food and beverage outlets, hotels and restaurants have been slow to ad adapt to uh, these techniques, revenue management techniques. And you you refer to COVID speeding this up, but why the why have we been dragging our heels on this for so long? <clears throat> I mean, <clears throat> I I mean there would there was also. Uh, I think they always thought about do uh, pricing and all those things. Um, is a is a an industry uh, of the restaurant is an industry um, that are uh, very very um, old style in some in some specific things. Um, one of the main barrier I think is um, the menu itself, uh, because if you have physical menu then there is a barrier that is a physical one mm -hmm. uh, that you need to overcome and they are so uh, there are different uh, theory here okay there are people that are saying that the physical menu is 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 what what you need to have the because uh, customer don't want to use the mobile or uh, you can have you know different uh, different way also to 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 up uh, different, I would say more different restaurant type, you know, luxury uh, used to have physical. I mean, it's not that you go to a luxury restaurant, you find the QR code. I mean, it's a little bit, you know, it's a little bit hard. Um, mm. And then, and then I think uh, this, this is one thing, but for me, the, the resume, if you will look at the hotels in this case, there are three main points uh, that are First, first one is culture, uh, because in revenue you have a culture already. There is, uh, it's it's fine. Everybody everybody knows about the, the upside. There is revenue, so for everybody now it's 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 fine. Then you have a, a second challenge that is the technology, and this is something that we are trying to overcome with uh, with Dynamite. Uh, and then of course there is a for me lack of processes. So who is the owner uh, of doing that? Because at the end. When you when you look at the revenue management, it's 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 uh, easy. It's a revenue manager that is uh, doing pricing for 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 the rooms. But in the restaurant, who is the owner? Um, mm. is, is especially in hotel, uh, who is the revenue manager or is the F and B if the F and B manager is the yeah. well, there is a lot of is marketing because also there is marketing uh, because they do the design of the menu blah blah blah. So there are mm. so many people involved that there is not the same in the, in the rooms. So I think yeah. that when you want to implement a specific strategy like this, there are several things that you need to, that you need to go, uh, to go uh, through. Uh, but I would say these are the main, the main things that uh, have been delayed, you know, the, this, this, uh, this approach or this, yeah. uh, the, the application. I agree a hundred percent. I mean, I, I talked to you about it off screen when I was revenue managing I never revenue managed food and beverage to the extent that you're talking about. That was always chef's responsibility. It was his GP to achieve. Never, never sat down with um, the head chef and the head of marketing and looked at menu engineering. Um, perhaps <laughs> no now the technologies. 
Yeah, no yeah. Way. But now the techs here, that bit, that's become much, much more easy, I presume. And, and, and COVID speed things up to the extent where we, be, we were forced to kind of look at things a little bit differently. That obviously helps uh, with your business. Yeah, I mean, I've been, uh, you know, I've been talking with them um, and we have some some very good good um, client uh, with us. Uh, and there is uh, there is there is no one approach to the to this you know there is uh there is no i think the right one um for me is um and for me one of the key point for for especially for revenue in the hotels is to have curiosity uh to really uh, open uh, your um your mind on things that you will were, were not thinking as i mean i was like this when i was a revenue man i always think with my uh, GM, I remember we sit down in a, in a meeting and we start to analyze the, the parking, how we can uh, make more money uh, from the parking. Because at the end, is, uh, I mean, you have those assets. Uh, so yeah. you need to, to see how you can you can uh, take the most of it, for, not just from the rooms, but also from, 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 other, from other things. Um, but indeed, the, the, you need to uh, go and start stay closer to to those people so i have one specific example uh, that i think is the way to do uh revenue uh, revenue uh for a restaurant and i've seen the like the revenue manager go to the with the with the you know with the operational manager stay close discuss okay uh, the menu uh, how many people they, do we have so you really uh, you really in in uh, on those things, the reality is that today in there are also uh, kind of uh, the way we are working with the you know AI of those things. We 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 tend to um, not to have enough people. So the reality is maybe in a company, I don't know, a big company, maybe a revenue manager is doing three four hotels. Uh, so how is supposed to have time uh, to go and speak with a, a chef? That is not possible. Yeah. I mean, yeah. it's, it's, uh, so you need also to think, and that is the process. That is the, the culture. So maybe you need someone like, uh, the, the one they have in an airlines, you know, uh, an ancillary, an ancillary uh, revenue manager yeah. that is taking yeah. care just of those revenue stream or like the yeah. cruise, the cruise, they, they have the onboard revenue manager, the cruise ship. So, and it says it's a massive because when you stay seven days, in a crew because you are uh, sailing you stay seven days you know uh, i've been working a cruise uh, are this those people are people crazy going around with money because they don't know yeah. what to do so <laughs> i don't know I, I i'm not meaning that you need to you know like chicken but you know it's like you you have a huge opportunity at the end that is the reality so and yeah then, needs revenue managing the potential there is massive i mean even for a hotel you've got you've got the spa you've got the golf you've got the car park You've got the F and B operation can can be massive. Exactly. So uh, I think there is uh, several things to be to be to be. If I would have an hotel like this, I would. I'm I'm sure if I was if I would if I come back in uh, in revenue management, uh, going to be a revenue manager for a big property, I would love uh, to do uh, everything. So be be part of everything. Be part of the pricing, of course. Uh, working with the what other department, but be. You know the strategic thinking of that of that mm -hmm. of that uh, uh, of that revenue the revenue stream. So that is the the things. Absolutely, I always find that it's fascinating what as customers will put up with in terms of dynamic pricing. And I tell a story sometimes to students on on guest lectures that I do um, about Coca Cola years ago tried varying the price dynamically based on from their vending machines. That is based on uh, the weather. So. Whether it was hot, everyone wanted coat price higher. In the winter, you could buy it cheaper. And we mm -hmm. absolutely decided as a customer base that wasn't for us and we were not having that. Do you find that there's any resistance, reluctance among customers uh, with smart pricing on the menu? Do they object to paying? We're all accustomed to it paying less if we go out for lunch versus dinner. But to the extent you're talking... Do you find there's any resistance from from customers to to that level of uh, dynamic pricing? I mean, if you, I think if you think, for example, no, to the rooms uh, now today is normal to have um, to have to, 
people understand that they pay a different price for the room, for the mm. eyeline, and so on. So this is this has been a process. It's not like uh, from one from one day to another. And I think no one is happy to pay a higher price. No one, even though it's accepted. Yeah. Okay, so that yeah. is the, the the reality. Now, we're all much happier when the dynamic pricing yields downwards and we're paying less off peak times. <laughs> correct, correct. So everybody, if you ask to the people, no one will say, "No, of course I accept to pay more." No, <laughs> I I accept to pay more. Of course, if there is, uh, you know, a specific uh, upgrade for me or there is an exclusivity, so that is when when people are willing to pay to pay more. So there is like uh, something behind. Of course, people. Say okay, but if it's the same spaghetti, why I should pay more uh, one day uh, versus uh, another? No. Um, so in that in that in that way, uh, I think uh, we are all agree. So now, with the data that we we have, this is one of the main uh, bias when we start working with any restaurant is exactly the pricing. You know, how my customer will react to the to the pricing change? How uh, this will be? So uh, the reality is. Since we start, uh, we had more than, I would say more than uh, already 5 million people going through our, our restaurant. And uh, we only had to, uh, to complain in terms of pricing. So that is, I mean, it's ridiculous, uh, the number. because mm. um, So the reality is that people do not uh, see the pricing chain. I don't know. I don't know. That the reality is that yeah. basically what the people really recall, especially if, specific for the restaurant, is the uh, the average ticket. So they remember uh, what was the 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 if I pay at that restaurant thirty euro or forty euro per person, and from one day to another I go there and that, uh, I pay suddenly uh, fifty. So that is a, a big change. So and then you relate everything to the to the quality, no. Uh, to the quality, to value for money at the end. So, um, in terms of pricing, uh, when you look at the uh, the pricing you do and the pricing we do, that is per item, that is not like lineal, is for specific product and so on. And then uh, you are you are uh, you actually do not perceive uh, that pricing change. Um, then there is another important things. Uh, the the machine is not only increase pricing every time. For example, it's um, it's possible that the demand is one thing, but you have also product that maybe you can uh, even try to decrease pricing to push a little bit more the selling during the specific service. I mean, for example, you might you imagine the starters, no? Uh, those those things that you can have more uh, because you are uh, you are more people, so you have more uh, things. And then there are Again, parameter like popularity of things that the machine maybe do not change the price. No, in in no, uh, because the demand for that product is is stable, so it, do, it doesn't need to to do any uh, any adjustment. So in terms of customer reaction today, we don't have uh, our data uh, are are there, and then an external data that is not belong to Dynamite is um, the 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 status of the of the industry uh, that is a, a report that is doing the national american uh, association uh, the Nas national restaurant association uh, in us uh, where basically the 79% of the people surveyed uh, were were accepting the uh, dynamic pricing so they were accepting the, mm -hmm. the the dynamic pricing in the in the industry because at the end it's also a matter of perspective, Jason. Imagine that you, I, 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 I'm telling you, on Saturday you are going to pay more, but I can tell you also that on uh, Wednesday and Thursday you are going to pay less. So I think is um, a way also you, uh, you, the perspective you, 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 you say the same thing at the end. Mm. So, so I think is is uh, is something that they need to be to be accepted. Uh, and a restaurant as the first one to 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 fear this, huh? so it's the, the 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 main fear is from from restaurant. But then they, when they, when they see the customer reaction, they, they, but basically it's not there. And I'm talking yeah. about also hotels that they have you know a repetitive customer. They stay there five seven night, so and they go to the restaurant maybe four night in a row. Yeah, no, absolutely, absolutely. 
So moving away from Dynamite for a second, take um, as, a, as an example, take a, a small restaurant without too much tech. There's absolutely no idea how to implement a revenue management system. How would you suggest getting one off the ground? I mean, <laughs> for me, it's the first of all, they need to have their own work done. Uh, when I mean their own work is you need to have your uh, cost. You need to uh, to know uh, exactly um, the, the stock. So those things that you should control uh, yourself. Uh, then uh, I think you... Uh, you really need to 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 analyze, and they I know they there are a lot of research they do, but they need to analyze easy things that are very common in the industry, such as the popularity and the margin and the margin per dish. In to understand at the end what is your uh, your your you know that that uh, that that graph that show you uh, which are your stars product, which are your dogs, and so on. Okay, that is. Yeah. Uh, there's nothing new about that um and then of course you need to think really of your to your uh to your pricing no and when you think to your pricing this doesn't mean that you need to be changing or like what, what we do every day but you i i'm sure that you have uh, and the restaurant knows those days where you can uh, be uh, and more aggressive with pricing because you have mm. uh, specific uh, demand or specific things that you can uh, over, you, you can push uh, yourself no and you you don't need to have a digital menu you don't you don't need to have a specific uh, technology of course you need uh, you need to to have data and uh, at least to have some kind of support in terms of and not just you know your opinion my opinion is no so you need to yeah. have some some data to support uh, those decisions that that uh, that you that you do. Um, so I think there are so many uh, there are several things that restaurant restaurant can do. Like for example, the the even the the reservation for example, uh, for example, the, for example, reservation system. Uh, you may ask uh, you may ask uh, to a specific day the credit card. Or apply a minimum or, or a minimum uh, uh, spend for your for for a specific table because you need to secure that things. Or mm -hmm. uh, you can uh, if you have a very good table with such good views or whatever, you may apply on a Saturday a supplement for that specific table because they have a, a very nice view or whatever. Uh, I I will be I will be the one willing to pay that exclusivity. So you know you create that exclusivity. So you can you can pay yeah. a specific a specific price. Um, there are other opportunities such as, for example, I'm the one that I I don't like the two the two shift the two turn. You know there are restaurants that you can go from one to three and then from three to five. In Spain is very is very common because people yeah. used to eat at three o'clock here. Everybody. I'm Italian, so I'm not. <laughs> I'm, I'm fine at one thirty. <laughs> uh, I love to go one thirty, and uh, but you know, I don't like maybe to leave or be obliged. Uh, uh, sorry, um, so, you know, to be like uh, to leave the table by three p.m. So maybe do you have there an opportunity to? So did you ever uh, calculate how much the the profit you have to resell that table? I don't mean to. Because people, when you ask to the restaurant, they say, no, 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 I prefer to resell my table. Yeah, but what, what is the profit? What is the yeah, profit yeah. once you take out all the cost, the waiters, the things to resell that table? Oh, I yeah. don't know. Yeah, why you, why you just don't maybe think and ask to that people that don't want to get up and that they want to have the double turn to say, you know what? Give me 50 euro more and I leave you the table. Because that people maybe leave, stay in the table, give you 50 euro that is completely full profit for you. There's nothing is clean. Mm. And then that people that is sit on the, on the table, I believe they are there because they want to ask gin tonic. They want to, so they're going to have more and more. They're so, going to consume throughout the, throughout the, that is the, the table. Things. Absolutely. Exactly. So that is the things that I, sometimes I sit down with the restaurant. And they, and this is not dynamite. This is you. This yeah. is you because you know your, your data and apparently you don't know. 
Because when, no, no, because, because they look at the revenue. No, because I, I'm doing one million. Yeah, but what is what you bring to the bank? That is your profit. So you need to yeah. understand that maybe you can have less less revenue, but you have more profit. That is the, mm -hmm. the, the key. So it's not it's not completely connected. So sometimes I find a little bit, you know, uh, this kind of conversation that uh, uh, I think they will, they, they can do. Uh, some, some of them, of course, they do. Uh, but some of them, they don't do because they don't know that this is the reality. Yeah. They don't know because they assume uh, no, no, I'm selling twice my table. Okay. Mm. Yeah, people get stuck in the ways, I suppose. And I, I suppose the, the way out of that is to be brave, experiment. You know, we may fail nine times out of 10, but just hitting upon that that one thing that works for you could, you know, rev revolutionize your, your business in terms of revenue and, and profit, as you say. Exactly. And I, when when really start the idea of dynamic, it was, uh, I always recall, uh, it was for a restaurant in, in, not in Rome, in the outskirts of Rome, uh, they're looking in a nice, very nice restaurant, look at the in a, a lake, uh, they have two terraces uh, on 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 those on those side, and then the internal the internal restaurant. So it was Easter. So I was I went there with my family, and uh, it was a very important occasion. Blah blah blah. And I had the, uh, I've been lucky enough because I had the table just right in the terrace, looking at the lake. Okay, so I get up, I went to the restaurant owner, I say, look, uh, you have the queue today here that want to enter the restaurant. Blah blah blah. Did you ever think? to uh, make uh, a, a supplement for those tables you have on the terrace. Now, you are crazy. Uh, this is not, uh, people will not accept. People will not accept. Did you ever try? No. So how you can, so how you can say, this is your yeah. opinion. It's not, it's not a reality. This is your opinion. Why this, this person, we were uh, close to the table. That, why this person that is sitting just next to the bathroom Need to pay the same the time <laughs> the one at the sitting in the terrace. He paralyzed by fear to make that that decision. So, I think and... I will I will be the one pay uh, 40, 50 euro to have that table because I was me with my wife, uh, my my parents, mm. her parents. So I want to secure that they have the good experience, and I want that experience. Yeah. I don't want an internal seat. I want the outside me because if you don't have it, I will not go to your restaurant. I will yeah, not simply no. not go. The kitchen would be... Uh, 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 then there are restaurants that they work with experience because they have a very good food. And I, I've mm -hmm. seen a lot. They don't have even the position. So they stay like in a place that no one will go. But they have a very... The, what is make you um, a lot of money? Your kitchen, your experience. So your food. That is good. But that restaurant is working because of the location, not because of the food. So your straightener yeah. is, is the location. So I think there are opportunity and sometimes a restaurant that just you cannot do every day. You cannot do maybe on a Monday when your restaurant is is uh, empty. Yeah, but you can do on a Easter. You may you you need to do. Yeah, oh, absolutely. Yeah, and I had a, a similar conversation um, with a gentleman from the rail industry recently. I often traveling in and out of London, and I always tick when I make my reservation on the train. I always tick the box that says uh, plug socket table near the window. I never pay any more for that. But yeah, it's something that I value quite highly. So I'm not paying it. My boss is paying it. But I'd be willing to pay more because I need a table because I need to work on route into London and I need a plug point in case my laptop runs dry. So um, and I said to him, why don't I pay more for this? And he just said, well, I, the tech's not there yet. And I was absolutely astounded. That's <laughs> like, it's, to me, just seem with my revenue management mind, it just seems seems crazy but i suppose things are evolving tell us a little bit more about where the future lies for dynamic then what's uh what's new for you guys next year apart from working with us <laughs> um i mean uh for us is um, i mean for us is continue continue of course to 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 onboard more and more uh client to have different also different uh kind of let's say of of our restaurant in uh, within our with our one within our um uh, our system one of the uh, the main target for us is to uh, for us one of the key market is the middle east uh because because also of the the, the kind of 
uh, of hotels and the kind of, uh, you know, uh, restaurant itself, they are, they are there, no? Um, of course, it's continued to uh, increase our presence in, uh, in, uh, in Europe and uh, in UK, for example, is one of our, uh, want to be one of our key market. Um, so that is one, one fix. In terms of, of product, uh, we want also to, uh, let's say, to move a little bit uh, forward uh, and, in, and increase the option uh, that we have on our on our on our on our platform uh, so we are now uh, finalizing and providing also um, a business intelligence uh, a business intelligence report so because at the end we start with the with the with the with the tool to execute the strategy we know that uh, uh, also people they are struggling a lot with data uh, and that is something that uh, um, I remember uh, in my previous in my previous work experience. Uh, data fragmentation in the hospital in the restaurant industry is uh, is is massive, massive. Um, so reports is another things that we are we are thinking. And uh, one of our main target, and I hope we can do this during twenty twenty four, uh, is to move forward also on 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 regarding. Uh, try to in hotel at the, at the hotel at least try to um, optimize other revenue streams such as the breakfast for example uh, those mm -hmm. things so we would like also to have uh, those those uh, those lever uh, as well uh, optimize it um, and in terms of futures uh, it the, that there will be like delivery quite soon uh, in terms of experience um, we have, uh, you know, we have those um, those filters for the menu that allows you, for example, to pre-filter the the um, if you are celiac of you don't you cannot eat specific things yeah. that can uh, help you to to streamline uh, the 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 menu uh, and also. Uh, we want to uh, have some good partnership. We are looking to good uh, important partnership for for the future uh, to allow us to to improve our our technology without investing ourselves on those on those things for example i don't know uh, the order and pay you know we don't have order and pay but we know that maybe for specific for specific um, uh, concept like the room service or the pool bar or the beach club those things it could be a, it could be very good to have also the the possibility to mm -hmm. order and make the payment itself so we don't have that uh, technology. It's something that need a lot of uh, efforts in terms of uh, not only investment but also efforts in the tech part and those things. But there are a lot of platforms out there. So we are we are always thinking like what I, what I, what I can do in terms of partnership to 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 try to have that uh, let's say cover not from from me from another but you know working in uh, together. So that are the main the main the, the main things that we are. We are thinking for for twenty twenty four right now. The potential is frightening, isn't it? And I can't wait to see what you guys do next year. And obviously, we're we're partnering and collaborating on a few things, which is like super exciting. Hopefully, demystifying revenue management to many that have not really thought about it before or or thought about it, but but being a bit reluctant for the reasons we've discussed to jump straight in. So, but for now. Thank you so much for your time. I know you're a busy, busy guy. Uh, it's a busy time of year. And um, yeah, massive thanks for taking half an hour just to, um, to chat. It's been an absolute education. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Jason. So we've got time for this week, but tune in next week for another exciting episode and we'll see you then.